big black phone. Oh yeah. Hey guys, this is Nick with TechInformed.us, and I'm coming to you today with the Samsung Captive H. Oh yeah. I bought this about Saturday, and I've been waiting to do a review, just haven't had any time. And um, this is just kind of my first thoughts of the phone. Unfortunately, I couldn't do an unboxing because the store people insisted that they need to, you know, make sure it's working because I'm guessing some of their stock came in busted up. You know, how shipping is this day, these days. Well, um, it came in a box that looks like this. Oh, slow-mo. Okay, there you go. Papers. Yum. iPhone S holder. Nothing inside. I checked. This. Plastic. And the plastic, you might be wondering, was for the charger and you, the little wall attachment charger table and... Oh, wait, these aren't it. I'm grabbing the wrong headphones, I'm an idiot. These ones! Notice they have the white earbuds. They're pretty good, actually, for free headphones, I mean. You know, with purchase of $200 phone, of course. So anyway, what do I think about this phone? Well, it's awesome. I've never had a better phone. I've had iPhones, Blackberries, other Samsungs, Jesus. I've had almost every phone ever made. You know, if you don't count, you know, the phones that aren't on AT&T are unlocked. So as you can see, we have the lock screen with pattern unlock. Come here, you. Uh, I'm going to move away. There. So here's the main home page. It always opens to the last home page. Not the one in the middle if you have five or one of these. Always this one, no matter what. I don't think there's a setting for that. So, we'll go over that in a minute, but let's take a look around. So on the top, we got a USB jack port thing. As you can see, it is micro USB. Three and a half millimeter headset jack, volume rocker, volume rocker, thank you. Camera on the back. Microphone. If I can get my hands right. Microphone. Power switch oddly on the side and on the back. Oh yeah, that's pretty. Camera. Raised Galaxy S. Bad idea. Now, no matter how hard in this phone you look, you will not find the little thing to get your fingernail under. That's because this has the strangest way of opening the battery. You pull this. Watch it. And it just pops off. Metal. Grade A quality. And as you can see, the Galaxy S is actually raised out of here. Nice, if you ask me. So inside we have the 1500 milliamp battery, lasts about a day. Micro SD slot, SIM slot, that's it. You do not need to take out the battery to get out the micro SD, which I do like if my friends want to give me a song or something. Because everybody knows I do not pay for my own music. I just download it. They put it on the internet for a reason. That's my motto. Now, software. I don't care if you see my password. It's a 7. So on the bottom, you got the little touch buttons. Very nice, actually. Very nice. Very responsive, give a little bit of haptic feedback when you click them. And in comparison to other phones, such as this Epic slash i780, actually not much bigger. Now, this does have a full, however small, QWERTY keyboard and two rows of buttons. This is, has a big 4-inch Super AMOLED touchscreen, which I love. I actually went to the store at my local mall, and I looked at both screens, the iPhone 4 and this one. And I can tell you, this one looked so much better. Now, 
the screen on the iPhone, I, I think it was either set to auto brightness and it was very bright in the store, or they turned it down, you know, to the default halfway. But it just, I mean, I don't care how clear it is. I'd rather get up close and personal with my pixels than, I mean, it just didn't look right. This looks just so much more vivid. The blacks are black, the whites are white, and you can't, well, you can on camera, but you can't tell where the screen ends unless your light is in the perfect position. Like it is now. Come here. You know, it's like, who would make a password that complicated where they, one, two, you know, three over there. The menu is somewhat iPhone-esque. Now, I, unlike everybody else, prefer this, where it's alphabetical and you can't, like, switch them around, because I find them easier. I know which pages have what apps, A to C, C to H, H to Q, Q to V, V to Y. I mean, I don't remember that, but I know if I'm looking for AT&T apps, they're here. If I'm looking for YouTube, it's there. Simple enough. This phone doesn't come preloaded with much, to tell you the truth, just AT&T crap. But it is really nice. I mean, for... For two hundred dollars, you got the either the iPhone or you get this. Everything else is either cheaper or the iPhone 32 gig is more expensive. But I don't know anybody that needs 32 gigs. And yeah, I mean there isn't really much to go over. I mean if you know Android, then you know how this works. It's pretty darn simple. You know, you can do for my phone. You can do this. Ooh, stolen. And of course, there is the nice notification bar up here. And no, I do not live in Detroit. That's just the closest city to me. I'm not a ghetto person. Wi Fi, Bluetooth, silent, vibrate. You know, the works. Silent is great for my school because I'm one of the kids that figured out that the lockers are two millimeters thick and are easy, easily to be broken. Now, the coolest part about this is, if any of you remember, two years ago, AT&T had good internet plans. Unlimited, otherwise known as, I think it was either 5 or 7 gigs, was 30 bucks a month. They got rid of that and cheapened, cheaped people out. Of course, when I went to the store, they said, oh, that's plenty. You can do everything. Now, I had the iPhone 3G for about a year, and then they cut it off. About, I say about, because it wasn't a year. Guess what? They, I don't know what they called it, grand, grandpa did it, grandfathered. So I have unlimited internet on this. I can do anything on this phone, and I do not have to worry about going over, because if they do, I'll say, hmm, it was unlimited. You said it was unlimited. I don't know if it is, or if it's just exponentially high, but yeah, that's kind of nice. Now, away from my ugly mug, and back to the phone. But yeah. Alright guys, um, let me know what else you guys want to see. I'm definitely going to do a more in-depth review. This was just a quick overview glance kind of thing. I'm going to do a rooting video. It's very important to know how to do. Very important. Fingerprints everywhere. Ugh. Can't stand them. Got microfibers everywhere now. Alright, uh, make sure to check out techinformed.us, and I'll catch you guys later.